Hey everybody and welcome back to Crypt Monkey Paints where we are painting Lord of the Prince Behir. Is that right? I think so. Right. That's what I'm saying. I said it right. Yay! <laughs> I might drop in again in an hour. The show's not over for today. Oh, fun. Go back to work. <laughs> Actually, skip out. I don't worry. I love you. <laughs> um, I love you, Sawdust, and have fun at work and half working and half watching me. I appreciate the support. Um, but today we are painting Lord of the Prints Bahir, and it's a pretty freaking cool model. So it has the young, the adult, and the elder. So the young is the one that's like curling down the rock. The elder is the one that's like just big and fat and laying across the rock. And then the adult is the one standing up the rock, which is the version we are painting today. So on... Wednesday or was it Thursday last week? It was Thursday last week because last week was all kind of weird. But last week I painted the base for this already and we did like gold veining and stuff like that and it was fun. Um, but you know me, I love bases. So I went and did more, but the base is like officially finished now and it looks awesome. I love it. So pretty. So I made, made a little bit more stronger of the gold veining. I dry brushed a little bit more. And then I put uh, grass around the base, threw a piece of, a few little tufts of grass around, put a couple of leaves on there, and then painted the, the trim of the base, which Lord of the Print is like really good about doing that. He gives it like this finished edge all the way around the base, and I love that. Um, so I painted that gold as well to kind of bring out the gold rocks. Hi, Regina! Oh, cool. Yeah, I still have not heard back from Archon. A bug in your ear there. No, no, no bugs, bugs, no bugs, no bugs, no more bugs. <laughs> oh, and I decided I wanted to wear a bow today, so I had to make one because, you know, it's Dwight and it's Michael, and I love them. So I made myself a bow. Uh, I, I was about to reread yours, Regina, sorry. Uh, but it is super awesome to see that everyone is starting to receive their um, mystery mini boxes in the mail from last week. That was a lot quicker than I was expecting, to be honest. And, you know, we had a casualty, but it seems like um, like Dorky's going to have an, an easy fix. So let's get started painting on this because there's a lot of scales on this guy. So there's the, ba the base in the back. So already not happy here i was playing with the camera um but no i'm really happy with with how this turned off there's beard man cam uh turned out so that is done and done and then i took this pretty guy who is super long can't even show my camera uh and sprayed him all purple and gave him a lighter purple underbelly so now I'm all about details, which really is a uh, hey, tech priest. <laughs> um, basically, like this long row of scales, this big thick la layer, not these side layers, but just this one sh going straight down. I want to make those gray. I don't know why, but I feel I'm feeling gray. I'm not feeling gray. I'm feeling the color gray, uh, which is not a bad thing because I like gray. Gray's cool. So I am going to start there. Rock fan on YouTube says, I forgot you were painting the center dragon tonight. Super excited to see what you do. Yes, Bo looks great. Thank you. I like my little pretty bow. Because Dwight is my spirit animal, uh, for those of you who don't know, but he, he definitely is. I have stickers of him all around my office. Okay, look, dude, I love you too, but you have to hold my hand in a better way. Okay, so yeah, I'm literally just going to start putting gray. Because I want... Beck Priest says it's all about detail. <laughs> it is actually a really cool tale. Hey, Dawn, what do uh, Bahirs and dogs have in common? I don't know what. I like to have... Back scratched. Oh, <laughs> I messed with the camera tonight. Yes, because you know, why not? Yeah, why not? It's the D and D dad joke of the night. Yay! 
Those are fun nights when we get the D and D dad jokes going. Um, I do want to point out that he's he's grabby, he's needy. Um, because I sprayed it, all the creases <laughs> inside and underneath. I'm going to try to avoid those so that they still stay purple. So basically, the top of the shell or the top of the shell scale scale. I've been dealing with giant turtles. And they're awesome, uh, but now I'm like I've got shells on the on the brain. That crease says, hopefully not the only one. Well, it's the only one I had planned. Huh? <laughs> but anywho, so far, so far, tech crease. Yes, they they will we they will get rolling on their own naturally. Can't force it. That's not what happens. What happens is people go out and find the DD jokes. Or copying pasting. <laughs> I'm okay with this. I, I mean, this is not a bad thing. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to go grab coffee. Yes. Uh, could you bring me some ice water? Because I did forget that. And it is still hot as hell in here. It is very hot. Uh, it, is, it is definitely improving. But it is... Not super pleasant. I can I, I can honestly say that the first night that we were streaming in the heat, I was prepared to end the stream early if it got too bad in here. But go out and dig them up when you get coffee. Um, I'm going to say something and I forgot. I really like this model. He, he's a little bit handsy. Um, but he's pretty awesome. I'm worried. I keep twisting him around to paint the different areas, and I'm worried I'm going to snap one of his fingers off, but so far they seem fine. And this is going to be a lot of little tedious work areas because I am trying to go light on the coat paint. It took me a while to be more comfortable with thinner layers. Uh, when I first started painting, I just wanted to slap it all on there as quickly as I possibly could. And then I wanted things to start looking good. <laughs> and it's very hard. It's very hard to slap paint on thickly. Very easy to slap it on thin and be fine. Slapping it on thickly, you start losing all of your, like all of these little bumps. Focus, stupid kid. I wonder if it's trying to focus on. Nope. Nope. Oh, there we go. Yay. Oh, stay focused. See all those little tiny bumps. If you slip, that's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Um, if you, if I slap a whole bunch of paint really thick on here really quickly, I'm going to lose all of those little ridges in on the model itself. That was. I can honestly say like that was a huge turning point for me in my painting ability to stop just listening to people say thin, you know, thin coats, thin coats, more thin coats, and I actually started doing it. I was like, oh yeah, okay, they weren't just making shit up. How bad? Okay, Duncan Rhodes had a good thing when his two thin coats. I don't get it. I don't know if that's a joke or if I don't know who Duncan Rhodes is. So I'm going to be, I'm going to sit here and look pretty. Uh, Regina, I finally picked up some brush and paint again to work on the forest dragon, hoping to get some done and then share pics. Only, don't ever try to force it, Regina. If you're feeling it, do it. If you're not, don't. But I think that thing is looking awesome. And I really can't wait to see it.
So you don't know who Duncan Rhodes is, do you? I do is not. It, is it a dad joke that I'm not getting? Because I'm not, I'm not really good at jokes. Uh, Tech Priest says it's a line of paints, and his motto: He used to be the main painter for Warhammer TV. Gotcha. Like, I'm perfectly fine with paint that will do the job in one coat. As long as it's a thin coat, I'm, ha I'm fine. I don't care if it, if it takes me three coats or two coats or one coat is awesome, but I'd rather keep the detail. Because realistically speaking, I'm almost to his, his end of the scales, and we haven't been sitting here that long. And I don't find this tedious work in the first place. I find it enjoyable. Um, one, I have, you know, my friends and family keeping me company and jabbering with me. So that's always fun. But two, I find painting itself enjoyable. That priest says thin plus opacity equals win. Yes. I'm going to switch the text over to multi-stream to ask try you to. and keep up with it. It'll look, you can tell. But, <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, he might get launched tonight. I am super jumpy today. Yeah. I am too. I don't know what it is. Yeah, at the start of the stream, uh, Sawdust did one, and I about lost my seat. I, I about threw my mouse. Yeah, <laughs> I really got that. Really got me good. What was I doing? That's what I. Was. So. So. Pretty weird sound. What are we doing over there? Every single time. For anybody else that wants that kind of sound, it's the Opera GX browser when I hover over something. But I know that when I go over it, barely audible, you're going to be like, oh, that's pretty. What's that? Rockfan says, I'm dipping my toes into mini painting, but I am still in the impatient slap it on her face. Yeah. <clears throat> um, that took me a while to get out of, honestly. Um, yeah, me too. He hasn't finished getting out of it yet. <laughs> um, I would have to say I'm... Still in the impatient phase when it comes to uh, when it comes to assembling and gap filling. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm I'm totally over this. I don't enjoy gap filling, uh, which is fine. I don't need to enjoy it. What I do need to do is make sure it's done well because if it's not then you can see those gaps. A good example is, can you get me the Spinodon? That's not how you say that. The Spinosaurus that's sitting over there. Yeah, it's cool. I'm not in the middle. Are you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you. Get your ass! <laughs> Yes, the Spinosaurus. I, I said Spinodon. I don't know why. I don't even know where the hell that word came from. Yes. So <clears throat> this one was a failed print, and I decided to paint it and fix the fail. <clears throat> Damn it! Hello, Gareth. Hi, Gareth. Ugh. I decided I would fix the paint or fix the failure. You can see it here. I would gap fill it and paint it and then. You know get it all fixed up well i didn't do a great job on the gap filling so now there is still a gap there so my intention now is to make him bloodied um 
Hickory says I want to see Tai Paint. Well, I did that with yeah. uh, me and uh, Jake from one of the parlor games. developer designers from uh, Retroscape at Parlor Games while drinking a, a little bit of Irish, Irish whiskey. whiskey. And uh, yeah, he did not. That was good whiskey. whiskey. I don't know what else to say about that day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he enjoyed Jake, the Jake and Dawn did really good on theirs. I not only did not finish his, <laughs> has not gone back to it either. I will. No, he won't. Um, um, Rockfan says, uh, we get to see a bonus Dino Mini. Yes. Uh, I painted... Oh, stop being so grabby. Um, I Basically, I did the same thing with this one that I did with the other one that I painted, where I did multicolors on his uh, fin. Get that to get out of that shine. So you can see, like, there's a blue and then purple up here. And what I'll do is I'll paint um, a solid color, leaving holes throughout this section, like I did on the other one, because uh, I really love how that turned out, and I wanted to do it again. So see his underbelly. Did I get the other one, or did we sell that? No, you got the oh, other. That one. one's going up. This one, the that one that I just showed is going up, but I mean, the first I one, no, it's down in the uh the mini cabinet and i'm gonna get pissed if i ever have to fight it <laughs> well if we were keeping that one it was gonna be soon uh regina says <laughs> Check it. uh putting y'all on mute for now and we'll be back when i can absolutely enjoy your meeting enjoy your meeting tell everybody we said hi yes working on i know i know i'm um were you about to say something? No, I just clicked the button instead of switching. Sorry about that, folks. Oh, did Ty break something? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just showing everybody what I'm working on, that's all. Figured you guys wanted to be involved. <laughs> I didn't see it, though, because I was looking down. <laughs> I'm getting the image share screen ready for something. Ah. Ah. Gotcha, gotcha. We're just not ready, so I had to show everybody. Hey, look, guys, not done yet. Um, but no, I need to, I need to get more patience with gap filling is really what I need to do. I, one of the things that has, has solved some of my patient issues, patience issues is having multiple things to work on so that I can work a little bit on this piece, set it aside, let it dry like I should, and then work on this piece and let it, you know, then let it dry like I should. Something like this, it's not that bad because by the time I get all the way to the top again of his scales, the bottom <clears throat> is dry again. But that's also why I, I usually try to work, have the base and the model ready to work on at the same time. But I also want some of the purple to kind of show through on the. But I'm not leaving it intentionally. It's it's a, I'm waiting for a happy accident to happen. Oh, thank you for the pretty noise. Uh, new follower. Thank you, delay capture. Thank you. That's probably reading. Yes, thank you for following. <clears throat> Like, I couldn't see who I, I know, because... I've got all of the stuff tiny, so it's hard to, to read everything at the yeah. moment. Yeah, so all I could do was say pretty noise. Thank you, Gareth. I sprayed it with purple um, to give me a nice base coat, and then I put uh, a lighter purple underneath. Um, I had to look these up, because I've never actually fought one. That's my lady mod, Gareth says. Oh! Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, well, thanks for following. <coughs> Damn it. Excuse me. Oh, and there was one. <clears throat> nope, still there. I, I have like a tickle. <coughs> nope. 
<clears throat> I got like a tickle in my throat. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Two years ago, I'd have been sprayed in the face with Lysol for that. See, so all you see is this, but there's yes. a kitty cat in a box. Oh, on YouTube. That's okay. what Scott Graham just shared. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no, Gareth, I didn't use a purple wash. I literally just, it's just a coat of purple over it. Um, any shadows are just happening natural, happening naturally from the light, and then uh, underneath is just a lighter purple to have that fade go in between the the soft belly. <clears throat> okay, I think I have my voice back under control. <laughs> um, and you know what? I'm happy with that gray. So the next color I'm going to go is a lighter gray. So before I move to a different spot. I'm going to put the red in his mouth so that that has a chance to dry before I come back to it. Dragon's blood. That's appropriate. Okay, you might have to fix my focus because that's annoying. I thought the autofocus I was going to work. I knew this was going to be a thing. I, know, I knew I know. it. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Um, Tech Priest says it's weird having the stream going on two platforms. <laughs> Checking out the lag between the two. Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's definitely a difference. Oh, okay, my throat is still bugging me. Just checking my fi I always do that. I'm like I'm check my fingers where I'm about to grab well, I don't always. I haven't always. That's where mistakes happen of I didn't check my fingers and then I've got red on my hand and I put red fingerprints all over the damn thing. Oh, that was a pretty nice too. Oh, thank you for the subscription. Oh, yeah. Thank you for resubbing. Appreciate it. I know I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I love you. <laughs> <coughs> no, um, also I'm very okay with you. <laughs> um you know, just you know bleh. I'm out, I'm done. Screw it. No, uh any any income we get from the stream, we try to put back into making the stream better. Oh, and speaking of making the stream better, guess what I didn't do? If anybody can name what I didn't do, you get two bonus points. The bonus points are completely pointless, but you'll have them and you'll know you have them. That's what matters. Uh, uh, uh. Give people a minute to answer because I know there's a delay. And I am purposely hitting his teeth because I want his gums to be. And why bother trying to not hit those? But I want his gums to be this red too. Uh, Gary says you didn't wash the mini. Is well, that correct? That is correct, but not the answer I was looking for. <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. Because um, I don't actually, like Reaper miniatures, I always wash them. But I very rarely wash uh, resin printed. Or you didn't prime it? Uh, technically, I primed it with purple. Also correct. Still not the answer I was let, looking let for. Let me ask the question for you. What did Dawn forget to do again for the stream? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we were like rocking it and getting all kind of things done early. And I was so excited by how good we were. We were like, we had the stream ready to go. Gareth got it. Alter the streams. Gareth, you have two bonus points. And a gold star for Two getting other worthless things. bonus points and a gold. Oh, we're doing an office theme too. Uh, the bow and the senseless points. Yes. Just you just gotta check your notebook and see if there's a conversion table. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who don't know about Alter the Stream. It is, you can use your watching points, your crypt points to on pick Twitch. on Twitch to pick what I'm going to paint next week. But 
when and because and I put options in Discord. When I forget, like today, uh, shut up. Uh, you get to use your points, then go to my Etsy shop, find a model that I own, and tell me you want me to paint it. Um, last week, no one spent points, but there was, by popular demand, requests of this. So, I'm painting this. But, let's see, he's like literally stabbed my glove. Um... Uh, so yeah, basically it's free reign, pick something you guys want to see me paint and I will paint it. Um, uh, but please, please don't, don't piss, piss, pick an, uh, embroidered mask. That would be silly. I would paint that. Would you paint that? I would paint that. It, it would be a very good. quick show. Spray paint? <laughs> no, I would get paint out, but it wouldn't take very long because they're just not very big. They're like this. But I would I would embroider it to have like stripes so I could just paint by number sort of thing. Yeah. Oh. So woohoo. Oh, there's my brush. Looking for that brush. And here's the Bakir. Yes. That's a link that here's the Bakir. Okay, so now that's drying. That's drying. Do, 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 do. I think we're going to use toxic boils on his belly. Here's my focus point. Did you put the focus on? Did you no, I haven't messed with that. Is that important? No. No. This is what I'm going to use. Oh, look, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Just of course. <laughs> this is kind of, let me, let me get this paint out and I'll show you where I'm painting and then you can fix. Okay. So that's what I'm going to use for highlights on his belly. We never checked the exposure on this one too, but I think it's all right. I think it's okay. So, in a focus right here. There's no paint on my brush. Shiny. There isn't it. Yeah, I think so. And you can see like these little dots. They come off really easily with sanding. I just don't care. Um, that's, that's too dark. Um, leave it like that. And guys, is this too dark or is that dark enough? Or how does that look? That's too dark. Um, Let me know and I'll brighten it back up. Yeah. Um, but this is almost dry brushing. I don't want much of this. Well, Rock fan says, I'm a simple girl. My boat is anything dragon. <laughs> you have a lot of dragons. Yes, I do. Nope, I don't like that brush. Picking a different brush because I'm picky. Go back to the brush I was using for the gray. Getting caught on everything. Um, so this is Dr. Peter J. Hackrib, and I have a warning for you. Someone has altered the stream. Oh, shit! Oh, mind, mind flare dragon. Oh, shit. Which one are you gonna, uh, what size are you gonna? Oh, um, and, and Garrus says, This one. Tell it to this boy. Mind flare dragon. This one. Oh. I think I might have to do that one full size. Oh. Wow. Cool. I get to keep it though, right? No. Now that's going to the con and to the table. I know. He's so disappointed, but. Rockin says there is never too many dragons. Uh, yes, yes, there is too many dragons when you're fighting them. <laughs> that is totally a thing. <laughs> um, I, I almost had to fight a full-grown, like, adult um, red dragon 
we almost had to, and we were like level one. Um, and we decided to help the Red Dragon and murder Hobo the town instead. That worked out for us. Uh, I... Gara says, can I alter it for Ty to keep it? <laughs> Wait, can we do that? Because I got points. Uh, no, no. <laughs> um, that is too expensive of a mini and too big of a mini for Ty to get to keep that. Um, and you're, that's like, that's at least two, <laughs> three to four. <laughs> Hello, creep show. Hi, Creep Show. Hey, Creep Show. Your mystery mini box is sitting underneath my TV. Yeah, I was gonna text you today, actually, and I. But uh, yeah, just holler at me when you think you can come by, and likely we'll be here. Or just stop by. Or just stop by. No, you should check just in case we're at the post office. Yeah, we might be at the post office. <laughs> or, or we might have run over to Walgreens to drop off a FedEx box. Either way, wait five, wait five minutes. Somebody will come. Um, no, uh, Gareth, no, for multiple t reasons. One, that's a huge freaking mini. Okay. Two, um, I am not going to fight that. That's just not going to happen. That's not what's going to happen. It's getting out of my house. Creep show tomorrow is perfectly well. Yeah, we'll, we'll be here after three for sure. Yeah. And uh, see that. Congratulations to everybody that was winners last week by the way that was fun yes that was fun i hope you guys enjoyed it i like playing with my stamps you know you keep complaining about that but you did ask i understand I this several times if you wanted me to pick other stamps and i was thinking you had a whole lot of butterflies in there and that's probably what you would use and i wouldn't think about it so much but no no he uses ticks and spiders <laughs> i used every insect that i had in there oh i hate you so much i had exactly the right, right. number to match the packages we had put together uh and she did love the bugs so much, Creep Show says. Here <laughs> says that was fun, and I love Dawn being creeped out by the bugs. <laughs> I know it. It really was. It was super funny, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. We're done. We're done. <laughs> oh, that was not fun. Um. Yeah, I can see that mind flayer taking. A multitude of streams to finish um and we will definitely not be in this camera mode this one this one will not be here because there's no way in hell back to the side we'll have to go back to the side view yeah for sure we could buy a new camera that all depends on how much money comes in from the stream it's up to oh. you the viewers whether or not you get a new camera just begging you, not everybody else. <laughs> um, not in the budget. I am. I am sorry. No. Oh, creep show says. Uh, sorry. It was fun to see Dawn bug out. Cringe. <laughs> I do love you guys. <laughs> okay, so I want to bring up a few things. Crap. Um, I was talking to a customer on Etsy today, and they are currently in a homebrew where they are literally, there are, they homebrewed a race of mimic characters, player characters. I'm like, I am totally in love. This, this needs to be a thing that happens across the board, and I need a character that's a mimic. Yeah, um, it's funny because lots of people love mimics, but this is the first time I've heard of anybody turning them into a race. Right. So super, super cool. And that has made me realize, talking to him, I don't even remember the last time we played. And I, I'm, I'm putting my foot down live on stream. We need to play. I am uh, 
Oh, the this is out on D and D Wiki, Mimic Five E race. URL though. Yeah, he shared an image with me, but I didn't. I haven't really gotten to look at it yet because I was getting ready for stream. But everybody needs a mimic character. <laughs> the only thing my character can say is, yes. uh, is a call back to playing with Jake. Creepshow asks, what system and what day of the week? Right. Could care less. Just not Mondays. Because, oh my God, Mondays suck. Yesterday... Mondays just in general kind of kick our butts, um, trying to get everything from the weekend packed up and shipped out. And um, I mean, we work on the weekends, uh, but we try not to work as many hours as we work on the weekdays. <laughs> um, so normally Monday we're, you know, packing and packing and packing and packing and packing. Um, Trying to beat the mail and do all that kind of good stuff. But yesterday the mail didn't run. So we started packing and then just continued packing. And really kind of just knocked a whole bunch out yesterday. Rockfan says a mimic race also fits in the D&D &D world. There are already changelings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Creepshow says, I believe I still have the rules around here for heavy ordnance. I was just talking about that a few, like a month or two ago with somebody. I don't remember. But I brought uh, that up before on stream. Yeah. The heavy ordnance games that, that Creepshow used to run for us, actually. Uh, okay. And then, other thing I wanted to bring up which I kind of already mentioned was the fact that I've never actually fought one of these. Do that, you know, I'm already. No, you're not ready. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to share this, uh, mimic race with oh, everybody okay, I will real quick. Yeah, it's, f oh my God. It's so awesome. Um, Rock Fan says also a mimic race makes me think of Odo from Star Trek DS9. I'm trying to remember that one. You're going to have to Google that for me. You know, Gareth, with picking that one, you definitely, I, I, you've, you've hit the nail on the head with, I'm going to have to have patience with gap filling on that one. Because that thing is, like I said, it, it's a beast. It's huge. And I just, I could shrink it, but it's just, I don't think it's going to do it justice. I'm going to do it justice. I'm going to print it the right size. And I think I printed this one at the right size. Hang on. Um, no, it looks like it is a quarter of an inch shy. Because this is supposed to be a 75 inch base. Oh, okay. Yes. I remember yeah. him. Okay. I didn't remember his name, but I remember his face. This is supposed to be um, three inches, and it's just shy, like by a fourth of an inch. So, Darius says, boom, I'm helping. Yes, yes, you are. Gap filling, um, but yeah, that, that thing is freaking. Uh, first. The thing, the For nice anybody that isn't wanting to go, ahead. go over there, I was show them this page. The link that I shared with you guys will go here to the D and D and D, D, and D wiki site. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Um, or prefer the D and wiki.com. <laughs> um, but uh, this is the race that the uh, the customers. All right, I am going back to the scales. 
purple out brush and I'm using wolf gray which is pretty much empty <laughs> I like that gray so the Bahir hmm it's so the Bahir you were what you yes. talk about how we hadn't looked that up at all before today and I've just barely looked at it so far I'm gonna because I, I am the screen was sharing let me look at that while we're you are what I am curious about like even just the general questions of I don't even know what level I would be you just brush you're pissing me off go away like even what level I might run into this sort of thing you know it's annoying me you see how they're like all splitting like that It's scarier looking than I was expecting on this. Actually, since you mentioned, that. I'll talk about that in a moment. I'm trying to make it so we can show your painting while we're talking, instead of my face. Well, just leave it on the normal screen then, my. Well, I was going to share this. I found this on uh, Beyond. Oh, okay. While we pull the book out, you know. That'll just give me a moment. And... Just one of the things that kind of caught my eye, because um, I wanted to look at the, because like I said, I've never fought one of these, so I wasn't sure even what the standard kind of colorations were. Not that that matters a whole bunch, because I'm going to paint it how I like it, and if I didn't like the colors, I wasn't going to use them. But I do did see a lot of pl uh, blue and purple variations, so I was kind of digging that idea. Um, but one of the things like that immediately caught my eye is they have like a lightning weapon, lightning breath weapon. Yeah, that's freaking awesome, and I'm really kind of glad I've never fought one of them. Um. Maybe with the level 20s that Jake gave us. Um, but I don't know what the rating is on it either. Uh, when they were here, we... The villain stuff? Yeah. Those, Those were, were 20s? No, not the vel... Oh, yes, we were villains, weren't we? Whenever we were just doing the... While he was here, we played downstairs. Yeah, we were level 20s. That was your Warforge, wasn't it? Yeah. I did not remember them them being that big. Yeah. Uh, Rockfan says a mimic race NPC who runs a magic item shop would be funny. <laughs> How much does this cost? Your hand. Need his eye. I think I have something that's going to let everyone hear us, but continue to see you painting. I think it's sometimes it's hard to say what's going to show up and what isn't on a oh, in case Ty split screen. In case Ty, in case Ty makes things blow up. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> so age mark for us. Yes, it is isn't it? I did. Oh, you rock! I know. I'm awesome. Anyway, yeah. Oh, we share a little bit then of what Dawn was just talking about with the stuff. It's close. I don't quite have it far enough back, I guess. I was close. It was pretty good for on the fly, right? Hey, there we go. That's better. Anywho. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see that pretty good. Uh, got the lightning breath that Dawn was just talking about. Uh, but yeah, so the, the level that you're going to hit this at, I mean, it's a CR 11 or challenge rating 11. So maybe at level nine or eight or something, maybe with a full group. I mean, obviously I'm not doing the math in front of me, but yeah, if you got like a group of five or something, you might be able to fight it at eight or 
nine or somewhere around there. Okay. So what kind of setting would you see it in? Like as a GM, where would you throw this at me? Yeah, I don't know. Let me look at I'm showing the beyond stuff, but obviously it doesn't show everything. Arid tropical climate. Oh, and temperate. You could find them in lots of... Oh, wait, I'm looking at basilisks. <laughs> Other page, sweetheart. Other page. Hey, for anyone who's looking for those interesting facts on basilisks. Page 24 in the Monster Manual. Uh-huh. <laughs> for this, it'd be page 25. Yep. <laughs> and no, uh, I'm not looking at the book. I just happen to remember from when I opened it up. Yara says I'd throw it at you. <laughs> Level be damned. Uh, let's see. Floors and chamber walls. It climbs up floors and chamber walls and stuff. Reach its prey. Uh, that makes a lot of sense with the pose that I've got here. Caverns. Okay. They like to make lairs in inaccessible places for others. Well, again, that makes sense with the, the climbing thing. Yeah, because apparently they uh, go uh, into deep pits and into high caves on cliff walls. I like that. Now I want to be a Bahir. <laughs> uh. For those of you who don't live in Missouri, the, the state of caves, you may not know that a cave is cold. And keeps a pretty constant temperature. It's kind of freaking awesome. You just scared the shit out of Ty. That was awesome. Hi, Golden. Oh, Ghosty. <laughs> oh. I could, like, I could see Ty jump from looking, while I was even just looking at the model. It's pretty awesome. Um... Wow, so Storm Giants created the first Bahirs as weapons against the dragons. Huh. Bahirs retain a natural hatred of dragon kind. So this guy and the Mind Flayer dragon next week are going to be not cool with each other, and I need to make sure that this is put away. What I'm hearing. I will not throw them at you at the same end of the cavern system. Because you know I would convince them to fight each other and I would run like a little bitch. Uh, always fun when I scare Ty more than Dawn. That's <laughs> <It> says <laughs> ghosty. <laughs> Gareth says they were bloodhounds to fight dragons for giants. Yeah. yeah that's pretty that's neat. That's pretty freaking cool. Yes, see, I definitely, the more you talk about them, the more I don't want to fight them. I want to go and, oh. and, and like, give them cuddles. Because they're freaking cool. It's going to be great when I... No, that's mean, dude. That's so <laughs> mean. Uh, Rockfin says, they shall have an epic battle. Uh, I can tell you, I know the size of the mind dragon, or the, the mind flare dragon. He's toast. Yeah, that's a, a little bigger CR, I would get. So we know he can do a lightning breath. What else can he do? Do do do, swallow. So whenever um, if he's grappling you, he he's also gonna make a, a bite attack at you. Uh, if the target, if it hits the target, then the target is swallowed and the grapple ends. While swallowed, the target is blinded and restrained. Yeah, you're in its belly. <laughs> How are you not dead? I don't understand that. 
But hey, you have total cover against attacks and other effects outside the Bahir. Again, you just got in his belly. I can't do You're the making accent. it sound like an Austin Powers. Get in my belly. Yeah. I, I can't do the accent, so. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, oh. what? <laughs> if if the Bahir takes 30 damage or more on a single turn from the Swallowed Creature, the Bahir must succeed on a DC 14 Constitution saving throw at the end of that turn or regurgitate the creature. <laughs> so you do enough damage in a single turn and it'll throw you back up. That's, that's pleasant. Uh... Oh, Ghosty says, absolutely love that purple, Dawn. Thank you, thank you. Peepshow says, not dead equals he did not chew. Valid. Yes. Uh, Rockfan says, I just looked up the Mind Flayer dragon in my fibbing book, Wizards of the Coast. Who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that... <laughs> Yeah, that's about right. I can't remember exactly how many sections the wings alone come in. But I think it's like five sections per wing. It's insane. Megan. Megan. He, he's right up there. He's not quite as large as Cthulhu, but he is up there in complexity. Who hurt you? W-O-T-C. Rock fan wants to know. Who hurt you? <laughs> um. Oh. So, here is actually really cool. Yeah. And I'm really surprised I haven't seen one of these in play before. Yeah. I feel like if this was staying in the house, then I would, uh, I would encounter this fairly quickly. Well, the ghosty would like to know, is there any alter the stream? Uh, well, I screwed up again, and I forgot again. So Gareth jumped on that and, got, and picked the Mind Flayer Dragon from the Etsy shop. See you later, uh... Gareth, Gareth, getting the kids Hi, to bed. So yes, we will be doing the Mind Flayer Dragon, which will not be done in one stream. That's just not gonna happen. Yeah, because that thing is massive. I would say. It's probably four streams worth of paint. Christy says, oh, that's what you guys, what y'all were talking about. Yeah. Um, hold on, I gotta look up what it is. <laughs> it's a big one. Um, so for those, of the, for those of you that may not know, because I don't know if you mentioned this or not, but now that there's been an Alter the Streams pick oh, yes. for next I week. Oh, yes, I did not. Uh, you can still spend uh, 2,000 crit points to alter the stream again for that same one, and that's usually uh, a color theme or a base theme or something like that. You can't change what it is. You can't change whatever somebody may have paid for already, Already, but add to that. Um, like a good example is Gareth picked uh, a Viking... Um, bust and golden spent points to make sure that the viking had a red beard so it can be as simple as that or it can be you know uh gareth gave me a uh psychedelic purple psycho theme he wanted a robe painted in so it, it really is just you can't change what someone else has paid for, but you can add to anything. 
and I will do my best to encompass it. Golden Ghosty, that is a model by... Mini um, Monster Mayhem? Yeah, Mini Monster. And uh, Rock Fan, the Elder Brain Dragon, I am not sure. That actually sounds like it's probably its own thing. That Tadpole Brine Breath... Nope, 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 Rock Fan says. <laughs> Uh, I do have an Elder Brain Dragon on our... I, I don't know if I have it posted on the Etsy, because it was Dragon Trapper's release for this month, and I'm behind on getting all my listings up, but we do now have an Elder Brain Dragon. It's freaking awesome. Um, does Mini Monster Mayhem do bats and stuff? Because this is a made-up thing. I don't... This is not a, a WOTC creature, I don't believe. You can correct um, yes, he does. He does. That one in particular was one of the first models we got when we joined. So I don't know if, if he was doing stats back then or not. Ah. Yeah, because that wasn't, hey, was it? No, he started doing stats once we were already patrons. Ow, damn it, he's... Golden Ghosty, holy crap, that is cool-looking creature. It yes. Is. Assembly alone is going to be... Yeah, packing is fun. This guy, every time I get his hands, I'm like... And how does he walk around like that? He's got to cuff his, like, tendrils in so he can use his hands to cut his steak and stuff, right? I always... I always lay it out. I take both wings and I completely lay them out. I'm like, okay, I have all the pieces for all the wings. And then I take one wing and set it off. And then I wrap up one wing all in together. And then I make sure that that's like taped together and taped shut. I'm like, that's one wing. Now that's one wing. Cause it's like, it's putting a puzzle together. It really is. Uh, Ghosty says, oh, so you're printing it huge, big enough for assembly? We don't usually, but I, this time, I think. I have to do, I have to, because it just don't feel like I can do it justice. That model is so unique and so amazing that I just, I feel like it needs to be printed full size. So I am doing it full size, which I know is abnormal for when I'm doing prints for streaming, because I like to print it to where I can, one, fit it on the screen, <laughs> and two, potentially finish it in one in one go. And this is this is going to be like Cthulhu, where it's it's going to be multiple streams to finish this guy up. Okay. Now we're going to get our makeup brush out because I got my dark purple, which is Orc's blood. Now I'm going to be dry brushing the darker purple. And yeah, I'm just randomly starting in the middle. Like, I don't know why. Like, not a good place to start. Dude. That will be fun, Ghosty said. Yeah. Three. So, I'll have him assembled to the point where I can still paint everything. Because you know how sometimes you assemble something and you can no longer reach this area? So what I'll do is assemble to the point where I can still reach everything and paint everything. And then I will um, base coat and then I'll start. That's the state he'll get to before we start streaming. I don't, I don't think, think I've, I've looked, looked, looked at the, the Journey into the Forest release poster that goes with that before. No? But I'm... I am... Uh, Definitely with Rock Fan, Journey into the Forest, nope, 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 when I look at all of the stuff that this forest has in there, apparently. That's just, just walk away. And just walk away. Bears aren't supposed to have antlers. That's not right. Is that what he's part of? Um, I don't know that he's actually part of that group. Or if that's, that's just, just the one we had when that pack, that, that when that pack, pack came in. Because I think he was actually part of like the welcome pack. I see. Um, that forest looks different. And then whenever, because what, 
because keep in mind that when we first started, we started with just him. And I was just starting to see, oh, well, that's how this many goes. That's how, you know, that's where this group sort of name is. So I was also getting myself organized as well. And I didn't organize it very well, and I just never really went back and fixed. Journey into the forest has like flying hydras and uh, treants that look like they eat other treants, and that's how they survive. <laughs> the bear with the antlers, of course. That one actually is really kind of gentle and beautiful. I switched because well, I didn't. Pretty. Terrifying. I didn't like how the dry brushing was going, so now I'm going in with light layers instead. Ghosty asks, have you watched Stranger Things? We just finished it a few days ago. We finished the this part. The of new the, season. The new yeah. season. I guess so the, the next one is July 1st or something, or July 4th, so. somewhere in there, that the part, the next part to the season comes out. So we're actually re-watching from season one at the moment. That's what we've been we're listening, listening to while we work during the day. Yeah. Except when I'm writing. I, I can't. I can't listen. Uh, well, that's not true. I listen to ambient stuff, but otherwise when we're packing and things like that, uh, watching shows, listening shows. I always like to put on something that I've watched a million times. Like The Office. Uh, Ghosty says, I just can't stop thinking about the mind flare, flare from that. Yeah, and I, I think that's probably kind of the, the look I'm going to end up going for. Uh, because that's immediately where my head went. Because one, we're currently watching it again. And two, it's fucking awesome. We actually have a poster. Uh, or It's not really a poster, is it? Because it's on that tin. Uh, we got it at a convention. And basically, the guy had painted... A scene from Stranger Things on it, uh, but it's about halfway he painted it, and then the other halfway he painted the same scene, but he painted it in the upside down. So it's right by our stairs. I love that piece. I love my wife. She, she not only allows me to put up horror flicks, posters, and stuff like that, but she does it too. <laughs> I would say I don't know about the word allow. I don't, I don't know that that's the right word there. <laughs> yeah, this is working better. Thin layers than rather than the the dry brushing. I'm getting more of the getting it exactly where I want it. I see like that's way too much. I don't know why orcs blood has such a pink tinge to it tend to not like pink colors. Nothing against them, it's just not my aesthetic. So this has a little more pink than I was wanting. But that's okay. Doing it like this, I'm, I've got it more controlled. And And I can always bring it back down darker with a, a purple shade. Which it probably won't do unless I decide that I've gone too heavy. Can I get a time check? It is a quarter till eight. So I just glanced at Rock Van's last message, which ends in nope, 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 nope. And it reminds me, we're getting closer to another great. I'm thinking it's going to be great because Steel. Yeah. Uh, the, the movie, movie Nope coming out. Should be really soon. Next month, maybe? Oh, do 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 do. July 21st. Of. Uh, it, it does look really, really good. Love these movies. You know, I've said it before. I think, I think Jordan, he's he's the modern day, you know, Spielberg and Lucas and all those guys. And in my opinion, 
And mine too. Yeah, Ghosty says I'm super excited for Nope. That look that's looking good. Yeah, it really, really does. Oh, I'm sure I knew this before, but I didn't realize Steve Stephen Young is gonna be in it too from uh Walking Dead. You gotta tell me which one. Oh uh, shit. For his name. Walking Dead. I don't know actors' names, guys. I know them by the character. Unfortunately, I know them by the character that I first learned them as. Not even necessarily the first character they ever played. It's just the first time I happen to see them. So it's completely random what I call care actors. Uh, I think Turkish is Ty's favorite of mine. Oh. Because the first time I knew him... And remembered him as an actor, as a, a character. Glenn. He played Glenn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, the first. I mean, when Glenn died, how many times have they, they tried, tried to kill, kill that man? I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, but still, when it was happening, it was like. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm going, going through, through a dilemma the, uh, of whether I should order new figures or knock out some models from my shelf of shapes, says Ghosty. <laughs> um, in my experience, the shelf of shame will do nothing but multiply. <laughs> the problem is, is when you turn your back or turn the lights off, they're like gremlins and they just multiply everywhere. Um. But for me, that decision has always come down to um, looking at my shelf and going, ooh, inspiration. There you go. Done. And, you know, it's always nice that there's probably things on your shelf that you've forgotten you even have. If you're anything like the rest of the many world paint, many, many painters out there of, I, I have so many that I don't even know what I do and don't have. So. That's my suggestion is take a look around and see if there's something that just screams paint me. I can't imagine that that Brachiosaurus is actually done. I got to say this one. Ghosty says, rest in peace, Glenn. He will be missed. Taken from us too soon. Yeah, but they just kept every, you know. Twice a season, it seemed like we thought we were going to lose him. <laughs> it, it, so, so much, much so, so that, that when he was gone, gone, I was like, nah, I don't believe it. I'm going to figure out where to save him. Yeah. Again. <laughs> Not even paying attention to the camera at all. I apologize, guys, if I've been, like, massively off camera this whole time. Uh, I'm, I'm going to butcher his name. Daniel Kaluuya? Is in it as well. Who's a British actor? I'm sure you like. He was pretty sure he was in a Black Mirror. I think he was you have in. You to show me his picture. I think he was in the one with um, where they've got to pay all the credits and they're riding oh god, their I bicycles to get the credits. He is so freaking good. Oh my god, I love that actor. Uh, yes, that's one of the episodes he was. In. And of course, he was in Get Out, which is yes. another. Heel movie. He is so freaking good. He's really good. I just keep. Oh, there's Black Mirror. I kept going past it. Like, I know that was. Him. Yeah. He's in there. No, the Brachiosaurus isn't done. I keep chickening <laughs> out. <laughs> When I'm about to get started, he's so big, I don't even know a good way to approach it. One bite at a time. That's I eat an elephant. Yes. Or a brachiosaur. It's just... You know, that that's a, a really easy thing to do is pick up one of the... Um, the pieces, the, the piece that go on his back. The bam it looks like it's kind of bamboo-ish, wooden, I'm not sure. Um start painting that. 
that should be you know fairly simple paint job it's it's wood paint it wood then you have a start and if you put it back on the shelf think of how colorful the shelf shame will be <laughs> i do have more in process paint jobs on my current shelf of shame than i do not paint not even like started um that's kind of what like really annoys me is I'm like oh these are all like so close to being done i just need to finish them and then i'm like i'll do it later <laughs> damn it like that dino right there that i just got base coated today will probably go on the shelf of shame and sit there for two months before I touch it. Lucy says, I do want to go ahead and paint the caravan. That would be a good way to start. Yeah. I think that's going to be your, your best bet. It's going to give you the most confidence to keep going because it's going to be, you're going to knock that out in no time flat. I'm telling you. And just because I know Regina is got us muted. Uh, Ghosty says, I do need a suggestion. I'm looking for a super vibrant, almost neon green for my Fafner dragon. I'm doing a black, green, and gold color scheme, but I need a vibrant green. It is Livery Green by Game Color. Livery. Livery. I don't know. This is, I can't even tell you for sure that like it's doing this justice on this camera. Um, hi, use your phone, take a picture of this green and send it on Discord. Uh, because I don't feel like you guys can actually see how neon bright green that is. That is my favorite green. Absolutely, Where's absolutely. Where's the camera my on my phone? I'm just kidding. You know, I hate your phone. <laughs> Why would you ask me? I hate, hate, hate I your was phone. Actually, making fun of me, not you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys can't see this, but I'm like getting a piece of a little bit of paint, and then I'm smooshing it around on here. So I, I don't know why, but I constantly use my paper towels as my palette. You are being so weird. <laughs> I hate lights. Uh, and not drop my phone. <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen what he was doing. That it was... may have. I wasn't really looking over the screen. <laughs> <Yeah. Aww. laughs> I mean, even just holding it like right over here was so weird. Oh, I got to delete that picture. Oh. Um, I don't know. Is that picture good enough? I can't see it in this light. I got too many lights in my eyes. Um, it, I, I don't know that you're going to be able to see it really well, um, on camera or anything like that, ghosty, but, uh, do I make, know a good way to make the green glow? I kind of want him to be glowing, you know, like the inside of his mouth will be glowing green. Um, so basically you want to do a glow effect is really all it is. Um, when you're doing a glow effect, it's just a matter of, uh, dry brushing that color or a lighter color out from the area where it is glowing um, and just doing so basically like if it's if it's glowing from his mouth and he's got his hand over here let me get it on camera here so that glow would be hitting his hand as well not this side just this side so it would be hitting right here and over here would be lighter than right here would be a stronger color. And, you know, same thing. If his hand was over here, it'd be really lightly hit here and not hit there at all. So it's just a matter of seeing where that glow is coming from and just looking at what part of the mini would be hit by that glow. Um, and then just dry brushing uh, those areas and build it up slowly and work your way out from the brightest point out. Uh, don't go too quick, don't go too heavy, too fast, because you can't take it off. I mean, you can, but it's you can ruin your paint job. But it, it's... 
Practice takes per. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm done. Practice, Practice makes perfect, um, but just take it slow, and it should work fairly, fairly decently, fairly quickly. Um, I've done a glow effect on a lot of different models now, but the very first one I did was basically, basically she was holding a fireball, and everything became red, and orange, and yellow instead of letting it be more subtle. Ghosty asks, do I start with white or is it good to just- Shit. Hello, Regina. Hi, Regina, welcome back. Did you see me wave at you? <laughs> uh, do I start with white or is it good to just paint the green? Practice takes perfect. <laughs> um, it depends really, Ghosty, on what you're putting the glow onto. So if you're trying to put a glow of green onto something that's black, it's not going to really show up until you get pretty much too heavy. So you might want to put a little bit of a white to be able to give your, your brightest greens the proper color, but only right in the area where you want it the brightest green. Um, typically, I just go straight in with the colors that I'm highlighting with. Like when I did the fireball, I had reds, bleeding into oranges, bleeding into yellow. So it was my, my whitest area was red. Then I brought in the orange and then I brought in the yellow to my highest color. Rock Van asks, have you ever used glow in the dark paints on a mini? I have. Um, they are cool when they work, but realistically, if you're not hitting them with an led light, they're not going to show up. And even then, they look really cool for that few minutes while your whole group agrees to turn off the light so they can see your glow in the dark. But then when you're playing... Or it's one of my light. games and the lights are already off. Well, even when we, we do play, you know, with the lights being darker, but it's it's not dark enough to really see a glow in the dark mini. So it's a fun... um, What's the word? It's a fun idea, uh, but in the reality of it, you never actually see it. So it's it's kind of a lot of work for nothing. Novelty is that what you were? Novelty, for? yes, it's a fun novelty. Regina says Jill at Archon now has your app. It was in her junk mail, so we should hear from her soon. Yay! You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I knew it was something like that because I love Jill, and she is always on the ball doing everything that needs to be done. And I had a feeling. That if we didn't hear from her soon from getting our app, she was already going to email us going, hey, what the hell? You know, because she's just on it. Ghosty says it's mostly going to be a black body, and I'm also trying to get some green in between the scales. So what I would do is I did that on Godzilla, and I will share some pictures with you in Discord after the um, stream. Um, but... Basically, what I did was, like, Godzilla has gills, and I wanted him to have a blue glow effect. I think I actually did put those pictures in. Anyway, so what I did was I just kept lining the blue, and then I would just bring it out a little bit from that line to kind of give it that glowing kind of effect coming down. But the glow never came up here. It was only from the line back. Yeah, it does really sound cool. Um, I always feel like, like for me, glow effects were intimidating. And then I did it once on that spider lady and it was awesome and bad all at the same time, but I loved it. And it like uh, flipped a switch for you because you kind of got it after that. I, I got it after that. Yeah. So what I would really suggest is take a, a mini spider lady. You mean the drider? The drider. Yes. Um, what I would do, Ghosty, is take a mini that uh, is just a spare mini and practice it on there. Uh, if you happen to have a mini that has a lantern or something like that, that's a great way to do a glow effect, is taking that lantern and having the light hitting minis. Or hitting... We got a lot done, but it's a long day. Did you oh, just spill all your paint? No, I just threw the camera all the way down. I'm sorry, guys. Hello. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hit the cord. I am so sorry. 
I think Dawn subconsciously wants me to get a new camera. Okay. So, Although the idea is to keep the ones we have and to add another one, just so you're clear before you try to break it, swing it around your head I, or something. I was trying to be an ass, and I was like, I'm screwed, I'm done, because I couldn't oh, that worked. speak, and I just, the camera went flying. <laughs> The problem is, I know you guys can't really see it, but the camera is literally directly in front of me. Yeah, you do very and, good with it, though. And then I have this cord that I catch on, and I try to keep it pinned in the right spot so I don't get it stuck and yank it and everything else. But every now and again, I'm a dumbass, and I hit it. Uh, Ghost, Ghosty says, I think I'm most nervous about making the whole guy not look flat. Since it's mainly going to be black with green glow and some gold spots, I just don't know how to make him look flat, especially the wings. Okay, wait. Uh, especially the wings. I don't know how to paint the wings. So one, it's easier for me to see what I'm talking about. So posting a picture of the, the model itself or something like that helps me. Um... Like, Regina and I set up a call one day where I could see what they were working on. So, what she was working on so that it was, I could speak more intelligently. Not intelligently, just more intelligently. I could help a little bit more. Um, but, I'm reading, I'm sorry. Read it. Uh, no, I'm, I'm rereading his. Oh, I've got you. Okay. Making the whole guy not look flat. Okay, that's what I thought. So, Regina's idea can work, but gray highlights, like a, even if you take a really, um, a really dark gray, like a charcoal gray, it is different than black. And highlighting, like I'm doing here, of you know, here's that muscle, and I'm bringing up the muscle with. Just the brighter colors. Um, taking a really dark gray will bring that that highlight to that muscle. Thank you, Creep Show. And it will it'll bring some some curve to it for you. Uh, and what Regina had put in there was uh, what about painting it? Matt been using a shiny for highlight. Um, I was reading it because you did. No, I understand that, <laughs> and I that could work. I have tended to not like when I put shiny and matte um, colors together. They, the difference in tone or the difference in shiny versus matte tend to annoy me. But that doesn't mean that it's wrong or wouldn't work. It's an aesthetic for me that I don't like. She says that's an interesting idea. Just sent a photo in Discord if it helps at all. It should, yeah. But I would also like to point out that you shouldn't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be worried because it's your world and you can do whatever you want. Oh, I know that one too. That's Fenrir. Uh, you should have just said it was Fen Fenrir. Fen Fenrir. I think you mm. did. Oh, you didn't say it. You said dragon. You know this is recorded and I can go back and prove that I did. I would love for you to go back and prove it because I don't think you said the name. I think you just said the uh, dragon. <laughs> um. So what I would do is specifically with his wings, the fleshy bits in between, anywhere where it's pulled tight, I would give a lighter gray. Um, and again, I know you want him like black, but you can still do like a charcoal for dark highlights. And then you can bring up a brighter gray like I did with this, where I've got two different shades of gray going down this um I would bring those, yeah. I would personally, I like when the wings are really taut to have that area to be like a really kind of a brighter color. So I would bring that to a, a lighter gray 
it, and it can just be a shade or two up from excuse me up from the the charcoal gray because it's like it's almost if you go back up to the top and i know you guys can't see what i'm pointing at but um on the th the oh, wing that's away it has like a shine almost on it like a gray tone do you see where i'm pointing tie down here right here has kind of like a gray shine to yeah. it and like that's kind of what i'm talking about like that spot right. right there looks awesome and if you can duplicate that on the the spines of the wings can you like somehow make that known of what the hell i just pointed at uh so it's uh on the wing furthest away from the body but the finger closest to the body that part that strip is like a really light gray and i don't know if it's light catching it or if it's particularly the uh that that you did that i really like that spot and i would bring that out more fafner ben rear is the wolf mm. but yeah you you know who Sorry. he is yes I'm sure I said I always faster. do that. That would be cool. So should I paint the whole wings like a dark gray rather than black, then have some lighter gray? No, what I would do is like, so you've got the V of the wing, right? So in between the spine that holds it and the bone, you know, the that spot, you've got these different Vs. Come in from the center of the V where it, it loops like this and bring your gray up. And then the the spots that are right against it should stay darker because then it's like the material is stretched. So you know how like when you stretch your shirt, you can kind of start to see through it. It gives it that effect of having that gray bleed in where the wing is the tightest and where it's crumped up at the top in that the crevices, it still stays dark because it's all gathered up. If that makes sense. It's kind of the way I always... And, work out how I'm going to do them. I think I'm going back to... Oh, wait, I missed the back of its tail over here. And keep in mind, these are, like, legitimately just my opinion. Absolutely feel free to completely ignore me and go your own route. I will not take any offense whatsoever. I will on the other hand be highly offended. No, he won't. He won't remember it. Um, remember what? <laughs> um, and I apologize. I know you guys can't really like see what I'm talking about and all that kind of stuff, but uh, there's pictures in Discord that I'm I'm referring back to. Pussy says, I gotcha. That actually makes sense. And what do you think about the gold? Should I just dry brush certain areas with gold? I wanted it to almost look like he has been laying on a bunch of gold and is some Kinda and it somehow dust. rubbed off on his scales. Yes, I would very, very lightly dry brush um where he would have touched the pile of gold. But, like, it wouldn't be on his back unless he's rolling in it. And then it, that's just weird at this point. Um, so I would really, really lightly dry brush and then just hit certain areas. And then you can have a few areas darker than other or brighter, technically, than others. And just kind of play with how much is in this spot versus that spot, that sort of thing. Uh, but I like that idea. I would go with it. I'm using centaur skin. He says, she's in the cool. stories, Fafner is a super greedy dude, so I just imagine he's laying on gold all the time. Yeah, and I mean, that makes perfect sense. Um, but you can take, like, the strip of his stomach. Like, this is my chest, obviously, but I can't, can't see my stomach. Um, and, like, the gold would be the strongest in the center because that's what's hitting the gold the most. And then f coming out from there would be lighter and lighter dry brushing. But I would still start off with a really light hand at it because it's really easy to build it up with layer, you know, layering, layering. Um, but it's it's hard to pull it back if you go too too much too quick. Then again, it is just black, so you can just black it all out again. <laughs> all right. Centaur skin to make a tongue pink. 
he ate a centaur for lunch. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Oh, we never did get that movie reference, did we? All right. That is your, your homework, guys. Figure out that movie reference. And you will get three, three purple smiley faces. I'm going to keep up the randomness of this. Uh... Oh, she says, sweet, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I am always happy to talk painting, guys. And this is a really easy way um, to not only get my opinion, but, you know, you've got a group of people here who like minis and painting because, you know, they're here. So. I thought it was my sparkling personality that brought everyone. No, it's your beard man, Cam. Um, so it's, it's a, a really easy way to ask painting questions right here and, and get your answers quickly. I am not that great at describing things in text. I'm not that great at saying them either. Yeah, it is a little easier. Uh, Ghosty says, yeah, I was thinking three mystery boxes and I was about to do more research than I ever did in school. <laughs> I watered the same pink down really, really lightly. Or, or I mean, really, really bad, a lot. And now I'm really hitting the gums very, very light. I just want to give them a little highlight. Like a sickening pink. And I don't mean that in the nicest way. I mean, it's a gross pink. I hate this pink. But I like how it pops off the purple. I just went cross-eyed for a second. So for subscribers on the plane, we uh, got another piece of content that's about ready. I just need to put it in a file. Night or tomorrow. You talking about mine? Yes. I'm so excited. Then we'll re release that. I'm super proud of it. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I'm pretty excited for it. Where is oh, it's right there. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. All right. Well, she says, uh, oh, man, I was just about to start working on Fafner, and I really got the realization my shelf of shame is getting too shameful. He's covered in dust. Oh, <laughs> oh that's okay. All right. I need tiny, tiny brush. Because for as big as this guy is, his eyeballs are like non-existent. Are you rubbing his back again? Yes, I'm scratching his back. <laughs> like, legitimately, his eyes are so freaking tight. All right, fair warning, guys. I'm doing details. Have at it. All of us? No, get your hands off your mouse. <laughs> Sit back and shut up. Hello, Bali Tempest. Bali Tempest says, sometimes you don't need eyes, just eyes the grotto salamander. Bigger <laughs> Dina mm, got me. Just ask the grotto salamander. Gotcha. Gotcha. I should have filled that in. I apologize. I am way off tonight. 
<laughs> Timing <laughs> Thank wise. You, Ghosty. Timing wise, we seem to be like lining these up perfectly. You guys are doing that right as I'm finishing something. <laughs> uh, I'm on my oh, typos, typos early crazy. tonight, Bali Tempus says. And Ghosty says, You did ask. <laughs> I didn't ask. I just said, you know, I know that you guys love it. I think you were asking for it. I'm all I am. <laughs> you know, okay. I already finished the eyes because they're that freaking tiny. And I kind of like the edges of this being that white. So I'm going to attempt that. With yet a different brush, because the brush that I have that I want to use, I don't know where I set it down at. Oh, I got the sneezes. Sniffles or sneezes? No, like the, the sneezes that don't actually want to come out. Oh. Like, Face turned to fire. Nothing. Think about tomorrow night. I'm kind of kind of thinking we're gonna talk about shenanigans. I like that. We can like maybe restrict it too. I don't know what you guys think about restricting it to. Sailed vehicles, land and water sailed vehicles. I kind of like the natural progression that we usually end up with. Yeah, it's all about where we start, really. Mike's pick. Uh, it kind of got bumped around a little further your way than I meant normally am. <laughs> So I think we can start with we're going to start with sailed land and water vehicles for travel and certainly if anybody else wants to put something on the list that is groovy move on to that stuff otherwise yeah like you said the the tangent the natural progression of yeah Trying to make sure that this stays like super, super thin. I don't want it to get like super bright white or anything. Just kind of like in the The higher points hitting, getting that one. And I know they're not tiny details, but for some reason I have to keep stopping talking when I'm doing it. I don't know why I do that. I don't know why my mind wanders in the weird directions it does. You got all quiet and I thought, I wonder if Bahir's like line dance. That's a stupid question. Of course they do. <laughs> it may have been a stupid him. question, but you he's, answered it. He's built for line dancing. I'm just saying. Um, Golden's question is about sizing. Oh, did you? Next. Yeah, okay. You go ahead. Bali Tippa says, land yachts, but pulled by giant animals. So... A wheelless carriage, but pulled by beasties. Style led for sure. Oh, styles. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Ghosty says, out of curiosity, for a model that's usually 50 millimeter base, can they usually be sized up a lot, or does it depend on the model? So, it really depends on the model. 
Um, but that being said, 99% of the time, yeah, it can be scaled up. Um, going, excuse me. Most, of, oh, I forgot I had a bow in my hair. Like, what the hell's on my head? Um, most of the time I've, I've not had any kind of issue with sizing anything up. Uh, they don't really lose any detail, um, because they're already so detailed. Uh, the crappier the model is, the crappier it's going to look larger because you'll see the crappy details. But something with, I mean, like Lord of the Print, he just, the details are there. So it doesn't matter if you go bigger or smaller. The, the reality is the smaller you go, the more likely you are to simply lose the part. But I've not had any issues the only issues I've had with going larger is whether or not the supports can hold on to the model while it's printing. So I've had a couple that I was just like, no, that's that's too big for what I am comfortable doing. But other than that, like if you wanted to scale 50 to, a, you know, up to 100 mil base, that's that's not an issue. Not with most of the models that I have. I would even say, like, I just scaled one model up um, by 300%. And I was telling Ty when we got it off the, the printer, I'm like, yeah, I need to print like a gazillion of these because this model looks freaking amazing at this size. I'm like, <laughs> this is sh should have been the size it always was. Um, Bolly Tempest says, stylized. Geez, I should not type. I'm a mess. You are in good company. I shouldn't speak to them. I've already thrown the camera on the floor, so welcome to the show. That happened. I love you. I'm glad I put the white. The white is making it like really, really pop. I feel like it doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person. But I will share. No, we got a new camera. Shut up, Tyler. <laughs> but I will share pictures in Discord as always, and you will see it looks amazing, and I'm super happy with it. Uh, Bytum says, I missed that. Damn. Yes. Uh, Ghosty says, Because I'm definitely looking to make a Fenrir wolf, and you have a perfect wolf model, but he's just a little small. Fenrir was huge, so you know. Uh, which, which modeler is it? And I can tell you whether or not it'll scale up really good or not. Ghosty says, quote, perfect makes practice. Go on. I believe it was takes. <laughs> perfect takes practice. Yeah. Uh, throws camera right after. <laughs> yes, that's right. That, yeah. And still refuses to buy me a new camera. Wrong. How come I'm the one doing all the work and I'm the one getting all pick picked on? Like, what the hell? I'm not working over here? No, you're not. You're like clicking things and <laughs> you're like doing nothing. <laughs> this is like when I worked in, in software, but I worked for companies that didn't do software. Oh god, it's so just annoying. the worst being an employee of a company that's like we hate that you have to be here. <laughs> Ghosty says Grimpa by Dragon Trapper's Lodge. Uh yes, that will scale up well. But I thought we were working on the, the Shelf of Shame. And <laughs> you're getting called out there. <laughs> ah! See, this is why my, my mic got pushed away, because I keep hitting it on my... with my... thing. Oh, shit! I got you, I got you, I got you, baby. I got you. I don't know where you're at in your paint job, but it is 825. Um, close. I'm, 
Why are you rolling a dice? That makes me nervous. Stop it. The D12. Don't be nervous. I'm not going to roll damage without rolling to attack. Uh... Uh, Bolly Tibbs says vampire like reflexes eh. during the day. <laughs> I have, I have, I have vampire reflexes like a vampire during the day. Uh, <laughs> uh, Golden Ghosty says, why don't you show us your shelf of shame? <laughs> it's a big ass shelf. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Well, and realistically, um, like I said, I've got a whole bunch of half painted and they're like in a pile too. So it's really bad. And I will, I will post my, I will post pictures in discord of my shelf of shame, but I have, um, yeah, it's, it's bad. So I, it's, it's only fair if I'm going to call him out, he gets to call me out. I mean, you can work on it and then I get my shelf back. Yeah. I've kind of toll and ties ties shelf at the moment to hold my my shit and you know what's really sad the worst part about it honestly is the fact that tiamet is on the shelf of shame and That's right probably takes up half a shelf he is probably if i had to guess i would say he's probably four to five hours from being Should that, maybe we can bring it to camp con that's what i would like to do or is that one which one is that one we're keeping right no he's getting a price tag on him he's getting a ridiculously stupid price tag on him so he probably will always stay with us okay because i think you're talking about the one that i got you at origins yes Columbus, ohio a couple of years ago yes but we can buy the model again. I can paint it again. But like I said, he's getting a really stupid price tag, so he's... <laughs> no one's... Oh, shit. Welcome back, Sawdust. Welcome back, Sawdust. That's, that's basically what I do when I don't really want to sell something, but people keep asking me, why don't you put this for sale? I just put a stupid price tag. Like, you would never pay this for this model. Yeah, but we did that on Cthulhu, and people were... Bidding over that. Yeah, but I... Yeah. I, well, I mean, not Treebeard. I put a stupid, stupid price on Treebeard. Well, that's good, because we can't get him anymore. Yeah, well, I did take his price tag off of him, because I realized we couldn't get him. So. But yeah, I had like a $500 price tag on Treebeard, and uh, Tiamat will be more than that. Bum, 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 bum. But yeah, he's he's hours of work before he is officially done. So it's a little bit stupid that I haven't finished him, honestly. <laughs> that one made me tense really badly. <laughs> I felt fine on that one. Yeah, because you did it. That's also true. Also true. Jerk. No, I'm actually, I, I'm pretty close. I think I want to do a little bit of, like, maybe a pupil on his eye. I think it's, he's going to get a slit eye. Uh, so I think that and white teeth and we'll be done. Uh, Bali Tippett says, love the levels of purple on this one. Yeah. And the, you know what's crazy? It's literally, like, two shades of purple on his top and two shades of purple on his belly. And so that's it. And he is very, very grabby. Oh, I need to do his fingernails. I nice think Bali Tempest sets. I think those are all going to be in his horns. Yeah. So what time is it? It's eight 30 and we're supposed to be done. How much longer have you got? I'm um, Fingernails, teeth, and a slit in the eyeball. 15 minutes. I gotta paint his horns as well, which I think are gonna be gray. 
Because that's, that's what makes sense. <laughs> that would be really fun, Regina, to have like a a painting party shelf of shame and just get together and get all kind of work done. Um, but I do want to see, I'm going to put mine in there, but I want to see in the uh, painting channel, I want to see people's shelves of shame. I'm How gonna, many I'm pictures gonna are you going to put of ours? Because, you know. Mine are all over the place. Well, I don't have one show. It's too shelf. big to just take a picture. <laughs> I'll have a few. I'll have a few pictures. Because <laughs> need te a few. Technically, like, I have, you know, this spot and this spot. And then I also have a bunch of Reaper miniatures are all in plastic totes. So, yeah. I have multiple places. So I, I don't have one area. Everyone's excited. Wendy's summer strawberry salad is back. I certainly. Good to know. You know, it's hot. I wanted everybody to know those are back. Uh, Sada says a panorama photo. <laughs> no, they're in different rooms. <laughs> have to be a video, I think. Sorry, I just realized my hand was completely blocking. So I will absolutely share mine and, uh, but that's just it. It's just, uh, it's inspiration to work on it some more, right? All right. Teeth are done. Now I need to do, let's see. Where is, hit the gums right I think what I'm going to do is make his claws and his horns the gray that I use, the dark gray that I use down the back. Where is my tiny brush? I don't know. Oh. I don't know why I'm so disorganized with my brushes tonight, but I am. But, uh, thank you for the 20 bits. They are corgis going in the cup. Thank you. Doing eyeballs. Eyeballs. Eyeball. There we go. Eyeballs are done. So. Regina says it's because you only use one brush normally I, I know I do that so much like I pick up a brush and then I just start to finish that with that one brush and that's it um but tonight I've been unhappy with this brush or that brush or this brush or that brush so I keep flip flopping around and Sada says, you eyeballing me? No good, sir. You answering what? Do you bite your thumb at me? A little. A little bit. Yeah, I've got a gazillion brushes, but Regina, you're right. I, I tend to stick to one or two and that's it. People ask me all the time, you know, where do you get your brushes? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't buy very many at a time because, or I buy a giant pack at a time and then I just go through until they're all crap. And then I buy them again and they're usually just Amazon crap because the Amazon crap works just fine for me. 
I I did when I originally started. I know this is like super angled and stupid for you guys. I'm sorry, but I can't see the inside of the horns very well. Uh, Creep Show says later, guys. Have fun. Thanks for hanging out, Creep Show. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. I thought I was going to sneeze. Oh well. Um, when I first started painting, I I did spend some money to get some really nice, expensive brushes. And I found that they worked extremely well, and they get torn up just as quickly as the crap ones. And then I'm cheap. I didn't buy them again. Yeah, I like that. All right, now I'm going to paint his fingernails to make them pretty. Then that will be done. Although he's got, like, what, eight, 12 arms? Yeah, 12 arms. But he's only got four fingers on each toe. Sorry, that's a great shot of my wrist, isn't it? You guys love that. Rockfin says, you don't need the most expensive tools to paint well. No, but you need your hands. Not letting go. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I mean, it's, it's one of those things where if you have a set that works super well for you and you love it, then that's the set you should use. Like, I, when I draw, I, my favorite is to use chalk pastel, right? I have, I don't do it very often because it's very, very dusty and dirty. And so I prefer to do it outside and it's hot right now. Um, but I have quite a few different sets of chalk pastels. Um, does anybody who's ever used them? Or anybody who's ever used chalk knows they go away quickly. So, a few different sets, right? Well, I managed to find a very expensive set that someone had bought as a gift for someone and they didn't want it or whatever. Basically, I got it for super, like, ridiculously stupid cheap. And I have yet to use them. Because I know how expensive they are. Even though that's not what I paid for them. I know how expensive they are. So I want to save them for just the right project. And I'm thinking by the time I get around to just the right project, they're not going to be any good anymore. Because they're going to have gotten moisture or something stupid on them. So I really ought to just suck it up and grab them and use them. But just like I was telling Ghosty to not be afraid, just do it. I'm terrified to use them. So, I am absolutely preaching what I do not practice. <laughs> okay. I think that's all the toenails. So, I've had, he looks awesome. Move him over a little bit. And then checking my fingers. Play Tippett says, those little feet, how could I, I be scared of this baddie? Okay. This arm goes there. Wait. I figured out. This hand gets connected on the top of the rock. This paw goes in that little gap right there. It's a matter of getting him on there. There we go. That's a good point. Molly Tippett says, if a water bear was a dragon. Yeah. So, there he is. There he is. Okay, now he's set. It's a, the base is a little bit wobbly because it has a little tiny um, thing. What's the word? Up. It's a little warped on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is glue this base onto a Reaper base, and that should make it more solid to where it stops wibble wobbling. You want to hold it up in the? Or can you hold it up in the intro and in the host I cam? I think so. Oop. See, I moved my mic over. Oh, see, I moved that camera at one point. Now you can see our shield. Boo. No, it's okay. So. 
I can't turn him very quickly because he is obviously Dig. not glued. But he is done and dusted. Oh man, if he's a water bear, never gonna kill him. <laughs> he could be anywhere. He might be in space waiting for you. All right, he is done. I like this part is like my favorite part right here. Right there turned out really, really good. I don't know why. It's like he's super awesome. But he is all done. So we are all done. I'm very proud of myself. I finished. It was a tight one. But yeah, he's so tall. Okay, you're going for a ride. Rock fence says that uh that came out fantastic. Holly Tempest adds space lava sleeping in a museum. He looks great. Yep. Regina says dragon picks in Discord. Awesome. I used more of my little leaves. You have to focus. Those are really. Yeah, Regina's kind of awesome. And I don't know if anybody realizes that, but yeah. Regina is Lizette on our Discord server. Kind of awesome. Uh, just Stop added it. picks to the painting channel. So, uh, yeah, the wings, <sighs> uh, the wings. Oh my God. It's amazing. I love the yellows and stuff that you added. It is perfect. Oh, the little spots down the, okay. I'm going to stop. I love it, Regina. It's freaking awesome. It's perfect. I love, 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 love it. Um, so we're done. Tomorrow night, I have no idea what I'm going to paint because he is done. Um, it is not possible to get the um, Mind Flayer Dragon printed out. By tomorrow? By tomorrow. Oh, no way. Uh, otherwise, I would literally sit here and assemble that guy because it's gonna. it would take a stream just to assemble him. Regina says maybe he doesn't have wings anymore. <laughs> Uh, Metamongo says, "Just jumping on to say hi. That Bahir looks great. Thank you. I'm I'm super super happy of it." Regina him. says, shelf, "Shelf of shame time." Yes, I will take pictures of this guy, and then I will go take pictures of my shelf of shame and share in Discord. Um, but like I said, it's gonna take a little bit because I have a shelf right over there, then I have a shelf over there, and then I have a shelf in the basement where things are not even painted. And I, I'm not going to organize it, so my shelf that's right here, you will literally see a pile of pieces of painted things. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> uh, I will call this forever now. Yes. Um, no, I love this guy. This guy turned out really awesome. And he was a lot of fun to paint. And the base is really kind of amazing. I'm, But, you know, I love no, paint them tomorrow. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to post pictures of the Shelf of Shame of Pile of Doom. It's like a, what I like to call it. And I will literally work on some of those pieces tomorrow while, we'll, while we are world building. <laughs> that was a mouthful. That was not easy to say. So that's what I'll do. That's a brilliant idea. I will finish some of the pieces from the Shelf of Shame. Not um, Tiamat. Because he doesn't fit in this spot for me to paint anymore. He is fully assembled and glued onto his base. So he no longer fits in this area. That big. So. Ghosty says he looks awesome, Dawn. It was fun one, y'all. I'll see you yes. tomorrow. Yes. And then next week we will be painting the Mind Flayer dragon. <laughs> and Ty will get some stats ready. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. We are. Yeah, it looks so weird, the camera. I'll hold it back. He's so tall. I love him.
like legitimately like that on both sides is my favorites. That's pretty neat. That just turned out the best. And it wasn't really even on purpose. It was just kind of happened. The accident. I'm glad I went with the gray on these. 